Well, hello there guys. Anyway, I just made a video on the top five reasons why you might want to choose a minivan over like a Sprinter or a Promaster or a Transit, things like that. Now, these are just my top five reasons. It's more anecdotal, but you might get some benefit from it. And uh, hopefully uh, you find it interesting. If you have any comments, please comment. And the video should be coming up very soon. I gotta get to work, bye-bye. I am surprised how much I'm getting out of this thing um, for the uh, the small investment compared to other vans for example a Sprinter van or a Transit van and maybe a, a one of those Euro vans uh, with you know with the pop top Westphalia those vans uh, those you're looking at the tens and thousands of dollars to convert in some cases although I've seen some conversions where it's it's you know around the five to ten thousand dollar range uh, and but that's really really inexpensive um, when you go to the super professional ones you know you're looking at 50 60 80 up to I've, I've heard one like one hundred twenty thousand dollars but so let's talk let's talk about uh, vans in general okay um, hold on I got I'm just gonna turn off the, uh, the alarm here there's alarm went on sorry um, why did I go for a minivan um, why did I not go for a sprinter van uh, like a, a high roof or or a conversion van a high roof and I'll tell you why I didn't go for that that route because first of all I've never ever I've never done a I've never done a van conversion and when you when you recognize that you've never done something I always say start with what you got start small and in my case here this 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan kind of landed in my lap I was able to acquire it at a decent price and it was mechanically sound. I had a mechanic check it out. Basically said, hey, this is a solid vehicle. Uh, I've had individuals who know a bit about uh, this stuff uh, mention to me that, hey, this is a good vehicle. So, and you know, that expression, I think the expression is knock on wood where hopefully it keeps going. And so far, I've had very little problems with this particular van. So I, I went for the Dodge Grand Caravan. And you kind of have to wonder, well, you know, is it, is it a good choice? Well, it's a good choice for me because it was something that was within my budget. Now, the other thing too is, you know, instead of like going out and getting a Sprinter or, or a Transit, Ford Transit or a Promaster, which I really want to get one, a Promaster, I thought, well, I, I don't want to like make a hole in the van and then, you know, like a Promaster or, or, or a high roof and, and recognize that I don't know what I'm doing. I would rather do stuff, I would rather do it on something that is kind of affordable that you know if I wreck it up it's you know it's not I'm not gonna lose sleep over it although I did kind of get stressed out you know installing my diesel heater and installing other things but after you made one hole you know the rest is pretty easy after that uh, you get an idea just make sure you measure 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 like because w when I first started I was more like a you know cut twice measure once kind of guy and that's not that's not really that handy so uh, over time I developed my skill it was only a few months ago when I, would, I learned how to sort of like cut straight with a with a skill saw. I, I could cut pretty straight, but this time around, I could. I don't have to use a guide, and I could cut very straight. I just have to sort of cut really quickly, and um, I, I got it. You know, I, I could sort of eyeball it pretty good. But if I really want a really clean cut, I would use a guide and take all that time to do it. Would be great if I had table saw. Well, I didn't. Much of my stuff was done with with a skill saw. And, and a drill and um, you know pretty much a pencil and, and and the measuring tape so it worked out pretty good for me so um, I had uh, some reasons why I had reasons why I chose a minivan over the high roof so I told you about the first one where one it's you know, it's much cheaper to sort of mess up a used minivan especially if you're learning now if you know exactly what you're doing then yeah maybe you can graduate to something much bigger maybe a cargo van like a a Promaster or a Transit or a Sprinter, I mentioned it before. So, but the main reason for me is I this, I called it, I remember tagging this in my Instagram as Project Van Mark 1. In other words, this is where I'm going to uh, make my mistakes and not lose sleep over it. Uh, another reason, I, I think this is reason number four, we're gonna count down, okay. Reason number four is availability. You know, like there's these things, these things are everywhere. I mean, you look around, go outside, you're gonna see a Dodge Grand Caravan. Uh, and they're easy to fix. I've, I've yet to meet a mechanic who, who's never worked on one. And 
come to think of it, is that a good thing? <laughs> well, maybe it is, right? They've got more experience. Uh, so uh, they're, they're everywhere, they're available, uh, fairly affordable, okay? I mean, if you're buying really new, then okay, you're looking at $1,000, but it's still much cheaper than most other vans, okay? Um, you wanna know what reason number three is? Reason number three, parts. Tons and tons of parts. I can bet a penny to a pound of poop, <laughs> I'm trying to keep this as family friendly, that if I go to any junkyard, I go to Facebook, I go to any ad, there's always somebody parting out parts for a Dodge Grand Caravan. Because, you know, people kind of get bored of them or they, they break down or, or something. It's easy to find parts for a Dodge Grand Caravan. It's available like, I know 2008, 2010, and so on and so forth. Uh, the, they're, they're very, very similar. Uh, I think it starts to be different around 2011 or 2012 and up. I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on that but uh, the, lots of parts available for it. Um, uh, reason number two, reason number two. So we had, we had, we had uh, five reasons so far, like four reasons. So reason number two, why I chose a Dodge Grand Caravan or a minivan. Well, um, it was easy, it's easy to work with. Um, uh, it's manageable. Uh, I don't need to use that many materials. It, it's a small space which can also be its disadvantage, especially if you want to stand up, okay? I mean, there's disadvantages to choosing a minivan, but uh, it was it was accessible to me. It, it was easy to work in here. Um, I didn't have to use a lot of materials like I mentioned before. And um, the, other, the other thing as, as well is it's easy to drive. The fuel economy is really good on this thing. It gets about 20 miles per gallon, and uh, I only have to fill it up once, and I could drive for the entire week to and from work and elsewhere. Now, if I have to go somewhere far, then yeah, that's that's different. You know, I mean, it's going to it's going to affect the fuel economy. And oh yeah, somebody asked me as well. Uh, well, isn't your build really heavy? Like, what's going on there, James? Well, you know, I sort of think of it as um, if my entire build is less than 300 pounds. So, in my viewpoint, that translates to it's just me driving here. So if I had two other people or three other people they're probably less than 300 pounds, right? So a person, will, let's say is 100 pounds or 150 pounds or 110 pounds. You have three of those, it's like having three people in your van. So you're fine, it, it, it works out fine. And I wanna tell you the number one reason why I chose So I'm minivan. back again, I just got some water and I feel a bit better. <clears throat> so the number one reason why I chose this Dodge Grand Caravan, it's actually really simple. It may not even be the number one reason for you, but it is for me. It's easy to drive. <laughs> I can park anywhere. Uh, there's a level of stealthiness to it. No one would ever think that all this stuff, that an entire little home is in this Dodge Grand Caravan. I parked it everywhere. And a few times when I opened it up, for example, um, a, uh, a ski hill that I frequent, one time I opened it up <laughs> and the guy kind of looked inside and like, whoa, what do you got in there? It's like, it's like, an, it's, a, it's like a whole new world, kind of like a whole new van kind of thing, right? So, yeah, so, I think that's why why I like it. There's a level of stealthiness to it. Now, the giveaway for me, and you know, maybe unfortunately or whatever, in my case here is I've got solar panels at the top, so you know, it kind of gives this kind of like idea. Well, you know, what's going on in there? Like some people think it's just like like some kind of cargo I'm carrying. Uh, most people can't tell what it is. At least I think they can't, or they're just wondering, oh, what's that? And then they they go on with the rest of their lives. But I know if other van lifers saw it, other people that actually do this stuff, they're gonna recognize, yeah, that guy's got something going on there. So in terms of why I chose a minivan, I've gone in the city with this thing. I've gone at a trailhead, I've gone at parks, I've gone at the mall, and I can park it anywhere and it's easy to drive. And that's my number one reason why I chose a Dodge Grand Caravan, or in this case, just a minivan. Now in terms of minivans, um, I'm gonna start talking to you about, maybe in the next video, I'll talk about uh, which minivan you might wanna get. Uh, truth be told, a Dodge Grand Caravan isn't exactly the best thing you wanna get, but it all depends on you. It all depends on your budget. It all depends on what your, the context of what it is you wanna do later on or where you wanna go with this. Uh, I always say, like, at least in my, in, for me, if I can get a year or two years out of this thing, I would be more than happy with that. Like, you know, I've already gotten a year and I'm like, I am really happy with this. I'm, it's, 
it's kind of changed my life in many ways okay I mean being able to like uh, go on a trail run or or a trail walk or a hike and have a place to crash out and just literally take a nap is, is amazing to me so that's something to keep in mind and uh, you know please um, you know please let me know what you think of all this um, and the other thing too is wait a second I hear it it's starting up again you know what I'm talking about now at this point, I should have queued up the music in my video editing. And I'm gonna ask you to please like and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and share the video. There might be somebody out there who would be interested in doing something like this or might find it kind of interesting or is planning for it. I'm gonna to try to include as many little tidbits of information and also just how I'm using it like I work full-time and right now I'm hustling I'm saving and I'm looking forward to that day when I can actually take a, a nice long road trip and travel around so if you can uh, please subscribe it would, I, it would really I would really love that and it would help support my channel as well